Gavin and I are with the Red Cross and uh, part of our role is of a morning conducting uh, morning outreach going out into uh, parks and, and city areas where people are sleeping on the streets and it's an opportunity for us to engage with people and introduce ourselves and, and just work out if there's anything that we can do to assist them. We spend most of our time on morning outreach in this area within the Townsville CBD and that's where we're driving around now looking at parks and um, different streets and, and alleyways and um, you know vacant lots where we know that people have been sleeping. So we've just come down here to the drop-in centre. Um, so we've tried to engage with a couple of people here. Uh, we haven't been that successful. The people appear a bit intoxicated, so it's a bit hard for us to engage. But uh, what we might do is wait for a couple of hours and then come back down and try to re-engage with people um, and just see if there's any support that we can provide a bit later in the day. We're at the Reverend Charles Harris Diversionary Centre. It's a centre for homeless people, men and women. They're brought in by community patrol, police. It's open 24 hours a day. They come in, get a feed, have a shower, and then the next morning they go back to town. And they do that on a daily basis. That's all I'm painting there, look, what we did. Those ones, and those ones there. Oh, I'm asking for us, yeah. Yeah, they are painting now. What we did, we did it yesterday. Lovely. Make me strong. When we come out to the diversionary centre, we know that people are seeking uh, crisis accommodation. Their only other alternative is, is sleeping on the street. So we come out here to try and engage with people and just see, explore what's going on. Um, the Red Cross is committed to you know, putting towards as much resources as it can to assisting vulnerable people within our community who are experiencing homelessness. So we do the best that we can um, you know, with the resources that we do have, uh, particularly with our teams to identify sustainable pathways into long-term accommodation.